My name is Luis Carrera. I go by B-Boy Dosu or Dosu Carrera. I'm originally from Peru. I've been dancing for 15 years. Growing up in Peru, we grew up with music, we grew up with dancing, lots of parties, lots of like dancing culture in Peru. My earliest memory of dancing was when uh, I went to this dance school in Peru uh, named D1. First, I saw these different styles of dancing and nothing really caught my eye until I saw this couple of guys just spinning on their head and doing some flips and everything. And I fell in love with, with the dance then. The only part about dancing that was difficult is to tell my mom I do want to pursue dancing as a career versus um, you know, any other profession that my mom or my family expected, expected me to, to follow. Entering uh, the breaking scene in the USA, it was, it was very tough. The level is totally different. I was one of the best in Peru and I come here to the States and I start competing against all these monsters and people that I looked up to, so I was nothing again. It was very tough to be able to uh, set myself apart from everybody else. When I was in Peru, the way I followed these this competitions, these crews, or how I get to know all these uh, famous crews, famous dancers, it was just through videos, through YouTube. I always wanted to meet them and I wanted to, you know, like get to know them and you know, learn from them. 2019, uh, I got the invitation and they said, hey man, would you be interested in joining our crew? I was like, hell yeah, yeah, for sure. This is one of the biggest things I ever uh, accomplished. I remember seeing them in videos from, you know, they from 83. So like so many videos I watched when I started dancing. And then I get to represent with them in competitions and carry on the name and, you know, this, this is awesome. I, this is one of the greatest things. To be part of a crew it means you're part of a family. They try to push you and try to like educate you on how the dance should be done and and all the, the talent part of it, but also they, they care about you, they care about you in general. They're just a family, that's, that's what a crew means. They don't only worry about you getting better as a dancer, but also make sure you're well up here, you know, and physically. So I've always been myself, you know, even when I wasn't out back then, when I started dancing, I, I still felt like I was myself doing it, you know. The only thing different about myself when I came out is like I started dating uh, men, right? I do get inspiration from all this, you know, like gay shows, like, you know, drag race and stuff like that, or, you know, this other dance style, like voguing and stuff. I incorporate some of those moves. Breaking is about bringing moves from a different style if you want. It's a flavor we have to have. Thank you so much for being here at the Pride in Break. Uh, the first, this is the first of this kind, so this is amazing. Ever since I started breaking, I tried to camouflage who I was. I have Dosu to thank because I remember he had an article that that came out. He also encouraged me, and when I did it, it just felt like the weight is off my shoulders. Like I feel like I'm at, on the top of the world right now, and I can do anything. Rebel. BC1 is the biggest competition for breakers in the world, like the best of the best competing there. They do different uh, ciphers, they call it, which is competitions in different countries. And they pick the best of the best of those countries and put them all together right before world finals and the last chance. The national finals is being held here in Philly at the Fillmore. So we're 16, They're gonna, we're gonna be competing and one of us is gonna represent the US. It's a, it's a crazy competition. It's like a full body workout for like 45 seconds each round, like full on sprinting with weights. That's how I feel. And you have to do that uh, nine rounds through the whole competition. Now I'm not only repping Philly, I'm repping my country, I'm repping my crews, I'm repping the gay people too. I feel very proud to be able to do it. There's gonna be people who's gonna reject you. There's gonna be people who's not gonna be wanted to be around you, but that's okay. You are who you are. Based on my own experience, you first have to take time to realize who you are. Once you start living your life 
the way you are, being your true self, you're gonna be happier. Enjoy your life, enjoy your journey. That's it.